Good morning. Welcome to Daily Office Morning Prayer on Ascension Day. And this morning, we're going to be working through what you should be able to see on your screen, which is the Daily Office. It is the version used by those in the Anglican Church of North America. So just be advised of any American spellings and slightly different ways of ordering things. But we are going to use the readings from communion on Ascension Day from the lectionary, from the standard lectionary book. So um, I will lead us in those. If you want to join in with me, please uh, join in and recite the lines that say all together and also those that are in italics with me. Let's begin by focusing in on God's word from the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verses 4 and 16. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And now we pray all together in confession of sin. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent. According to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. If you'd like to join me, we're going to say that Pascha Nostrum, Christ our Passover. Please feel free to join in with me saying the lines in italics. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. <laughs> and now 
the psalm for today, taken from the lectionary, is going to be Psalm 47. Give you a moment to turn to that Psalm 47. I'm going to read from the New King James. So the first Psalm, praise to God, the ruler of the earth, to the chief musician, a Psalm of the sons of Korah. Oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with the voice of triumph, for the Lord most high is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have gathered together. The people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. And now we read the first lesson from the Old Testament, which today is going to be from Daniel, Daniel chapter 7, verse 9 to 14. So if you want to follow over there in your Bible with me, that's Daniel, the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses 9 to 14. I'm going to read from the New King James. The vision of the ancient of days, 9 to 14. I watched till thrones were put in place and the ancient of days was seated. His garment was white as snow and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame. Its wheels a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousands ministered to him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. I watched then because of the sound of the pompous words which the horn was speaking. I watched till the beast was slain and its body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As for the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I was watching in the night visions, and behold, one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, the one, which shall not be destroyed. This is the first lesson from the Old Testament. Good morning, Carl. And so we're going to now, we are now going to uh, say together, this canticle here, if you can see that on your screen, you should be able to see on your screen, my screen. Give me a nod if you can see that. You can see that, yeah. So it should say, we praise you, O God. And so uh, we say this together after this uh, first lesson from the Old Testament. Um, the lesson from the New Testament, if anybody would like to read it for me, which we'll say in a moment is from Acts. Otherwise, I will read that. But put a hand up if you want to volunteer to read from the New Testament, and I'm more than happy to let you do that. But let's just read, shall we, from the Te Deum Laudamus together. So if you want to say with me the lines in italics, 
We praise you, O oh God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at the God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Amen. Now we're going to have a reading from the New Testament, our second lesson, which is going to be in the book of Acts. So it's Acts chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. If you've got a Bible, you can turn there. If not, then um, you can read along with me. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read from the New King James. The former account I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, after he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now, when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards the heavens as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. This is the second lesson from the New Testament. And now we're going to say together the song of Zechariah. So that should be on your screen. And again, if, if you want to join with me, you can recite the lines in italics there. And so this is a portion of scripture from Luke's gospel, Luke chapter 1, 68 to 79. So let's say this together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to be a guide to our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. His, his only Son, son our Lord. Lord. He was conceived he was by the Christ. Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius yeah. Pilate, was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now we pray these series of short prayers called the Suffrages. And so if you want to join in, please do. We say these together. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Amen. And now we pray the, the collect of the day. Um, if anyone would like to read that and pray that, you're welcome to do so. Just raise a hand if you want to volunteer. Otherwise, uh, I will go on and pray that for us. Anybody? No, that's great. I, I I'll pray if you'd like to join with me. Almighty God, whose only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, ascended into heaven. May our hearts and minds also there ascend and with him continually dwell, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray two further co uh, collects, which are just simply prayers that the whole Anglican communion pray together every day. This first collect is for peace, and this second one is for grace. So we pray together. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. 
defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we say a prayer for mission for the church. Almighty and everlasting God, who alone works great marvels, send down upon our clergy and the congregations committed to their charge the life-giving spirit of your grace. Shower them with the continual dew of your blessing and ignite in them a zealous love for your gospel through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to pray a prayer for evangelism, that those who don't yet know Christ would know him. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come with the reach of your faith and grace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honour of your name. Amen. Now we're just going to take a quick moment in silence. We're just going to take a quick moment. If you want to close your eyes, that's fine. If not, whatever feels comfortable. And just make some requests, some petitions for yourself. Um, also to pray for the things listed here on the screen, if you get a moment. And most importantly, finally, just to give thanks to God and bless him for all that we do have. So let's just take a moment now, a moment in, in quiet prayer. Lord God, we thank you for your grace today. Lord, as, as Ascension Day, we remember that though you left your disciples bodily, you didn't leave them without you. That you came again in the power of the Holy Spirit and you are more present with us today than you were ever with your people on the earth 2,000 years ago. And Lord, my prayer is that we would know your presence today we would know the companionship of the Holy Spirit, his empowering strength and grace in our lives, in whatever we are doing today. May we know your power and your love in all that we do and all that we accomplish today. Lord, we pray for the church. We pray particularly for Hope City Church in Wolverhampton. We pray your blessing upon us all, whatever we might be doing today. Uh, Lord, we lift up those in church who are unwell um, today, Lord God, and we ask that you might give them strength. You might give them health and bring them healing. Uh, we pray also for all of our sister churches in Anglican Mission in England, Lord. We pray that they might also know your hand of blessing and favour in all that they seek to do for your name. Lord, we pray for our family, Lord, that you'd watch over them. Father, whatever they are, wherever they're doing today, Lord God, that you will be with them, protect them from any snares of the enemy and help them to love and to serve you, to be brave and to be kind. Uh, Lord, we pray for our government as well. We pray, Lord God, that you might lead those who are in authority in this nation. 
in wisdom and in truth, and they might listen to you. Father, we just as well want to take a moment to pray for our enemies, Lord God, for those who have hurt us, for those who um, do not look upon us kindly. We pray your forgiveness upon them. And Lord, we ask you to help us to forgive them today. And we do pray that the things that they do today would be pleasing to you. And finally, Lord, we give thanks for all the rich blessings that you have blessed us with. You are a good and kind father. And Lord God, we choose today to think about the many, many ways in which you have blessed us, in which you have been good to us, rather than focusing on what we don't have. Lord, you are a great God and a loving and kind father. We bless your name. Amen. And now we're just going to close by praying this prayer here, a prayer of John Chrysostom, a very ancient prayer from the early church. And so if you'd like to join with me, please do. Let's pray together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. And finally, the, the benediction from 2 Corinthians 13, 14. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. And that concludes our Ascension Day daily office morning prayer. Thanks for joining me. Um, please do feel free to uh, share this. I think I'm streaming this to YouTube. And uh, Lord willing, uh, we'll get the chance to do this again. But wherever you are in the world, whatever you're getting up to today, the Lord bless and keep you as we celebrate Ascension Day. And remember that uh, Christ will come again in the same way that he departed. And may you be right with him when he does. God bless all. Bye bye.